Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC experts here on Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today we're going to talk about the Firma 60 Amp Crawler ESC by Spectrum. Before we get started, we need a few items. We need a battery pack to power the ESC, programming box to program the ESC, and also your transmitter and receiver to actually calibrate the ESC. Let's get started. I want to start off by make sure you know that the Firma 60 Amp Crawling ESC will only work with Spectrum Crawling Motors. So just a heads up on that. And also, to be able to use the programming box, the motors have to be plugged into the ESC to actually program the ESC with the programming box. Just a heads up on that. All right, let's get started programming. Now it's time to plug everything in. You'll plug the ESC into the receiver and also make sure the polarity is correct while plugging it in to the receiver itself. Next, you'll unplug the battery into the ESC. You'll want to grab your transmitter You'll go and power it on as well. Now go and power the ESC up. You're going to hold the power button for at least eight seconds or so. You'll hear the motor beep and you'll see a red flashy light on the ESC. Let's go ahead and do so. Once you let go, you'll hear the motor beep. And you'll see the red flashing light. You want to make sure everything is set neutral on your transmitter. Uh, once everything is neutral, you're going to press the power button one time. There you have locked in neutral setting. Now it's time to do full throttle. So you're going to hold full throttle on the transmitter. You're going to hit the power button again. Once you do that, there'll be two green flashing lights. This is to let you know it's saved. Now it's time to hit brake or reverse. Once you have the brake and reverse held down, you hit your power button again. You'll see three green flashing lights to let you know the reverse slash brake has been set. Now your ESC has been calibrated. Now here's a good time to set any parameters you want to set on the ESC with the programming box. We'll show you how. Now it's time to customize your ESC. To do so, we're using the Spectrum Smart programming box. Um, one other thing you want to note, it has to be a V2 version. Uh, the V2 version allows you to program the Firma 60 amp crawling ESC, so please make sure it's the V2 version. You also want to use the mail to mail in lead that comes with it. You're going to plug it into the side of the box and make sure you have the polarity correct as well when you're plugging it in. And you're also going to plug it into the actual switch of the ESC. You're going to take the rubber boot off and again make sure the polarity is correct while plugging it in. Once you have that plugged in, you'll need a battery for your ESC. You'll go ahead and turn your ESC on, but one thing to make sure before we turn it on is make sure you have the motor plugged in. It, again, it needs to be a the actual uh, crawler spectrum motor to work with this. It has to be plugged in, sensor wire plugged in, all that to allow the programming box to actually program the ESC. So please make sure that's all plugged in. Go ahead and fire up your ESC. Your programming box will light up and let you notice what version is on the ESC itself. Once it does that, you're going to hit select. It's going to connect to the ESC. Once it's connected, here you can actually change the different the parameters of everything. Uh, once you get done going through everything, pick what you want. You'll hit save. Once you hit save, it'll go through it. It'll let you know it's saved and ready to go. Once you have it powered down, now you can go try your settings out. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and other helpful videos from RC experts here at Horizon Hobby.